Hello there everyone, this is Brandon again, all the way from Chile, and today we have another video on Android 11 for the other Go Super, and we will be testing a couple more apps, so I'll see you there. For this video, we will use the Android 11 image that actually comes without the Google Store app which will allow us to have more storage, but we will have to install apps using APKs, and I will show you how now. So we will need to go into the internet and just download any APK of any app that we want to try for Android. Uh, for example, I use this page that I can leave in the description and we can download this emulator for Nintendo 64 for Android 11. So once it's done, I can actually just insert my SD card into the computer and I can add this APK into any of these folders. You can choose anyone and you can, for example, I will use alarms. And as you can see right here, I have a couple APKs for a couple emulators. So once they're there, you can just take off the SD card and put in your Odigo Super to install this. And once it boots up, we can go into files, make sure to connect a mouse with it so we can go all the way over here. We can go into the rooms, which is our SD card, and find the APK that we put there from our computer. We will install the app. We're gonna accept this and continue. If you have the version with the Google Store, you can always just get the app there and install it. You don't need to get the APK. The only difference is in that version of the image for Android 11, you only have three gigabytes of storage. Uh, with this version, where you use APKs, you have 11 gigabytes of storage. So that's up to you. And once it install, we can open it. As you can see right here, I already have the game. But if you want to look for it, you can go to press the plus sign here. Start file picker. And you can select the folder where your games are. Once you do that, the app is going to find your games automatically. And now you can start the game and check it out. And in the same way, I also install Sonic. For this game, you actually need to have internet connection. So once you connect to the internet using a Wi-Fi module, you will be able to play. Here you can see a little bit of it. And that's today's video, so remember there is plenty of apps you can use on Android 11, whether it be via APK or via Google Store, whatever works better for you. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.